French in our parliament. So, so Nicola, uh, we in Canada consider this a very special part of Canadian space. Uh, and the reason for that is in, a, in our constitution, the Parliament of Canada is defined as the House of Commons, the Senate, and the Crown. They are a monarchy. And our Queen, the Queen of Canada, who is Queen Elizabeth II, uh, her throne as Queen of Canada is here on the speaker. Of course, when she's, when she's there, the speaker's chair is not there. <laughs> Senator Nolan, who was elected today the deputy speaker, uh, he's very conscious of these things. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, uh, it's only in this room where the three elements of the Parliament of Canada, the House of Commons, the Senate, and the Crown, can meet. Uh, and there are three occasions when they must meet. One is when we install a new Governor General who represents the Queen. He has to be here and he sits on the throne. The senators are here, and the members of the House of Commons are summoned to come down from the House of Commons and stand uh, below the bar here in the Senate chamber. The second time that they must be here. <laughs> Minister, thank you so much uh, for taking the time to join us here in the Parliament of Canada. And it was a particular pleasure to welcome you into uh, the precinct of the Senate of Canada and thank you for signing our Distinguished Visitors Guest Book. Our conversation prior to this reception reinforced my satisfaction with the strong relations between our two countries and left me optimistic about the great potential that exists for further strengthening these ties. Colleagues uh, and friends, I had the opportunity to uh, mention to our distinguished visitor, the Prime Minister of Macedonia, I'm particularly delighted that my colleague, uh, Senator Atulijan, is here. Because Senator Atulijan is the president of the Canadian branch of the Inter-Parliamentary uh, Union. And it's within the context of the work that's done by parliamentarians around the globe uh, that speaks to uh, the freedom uh, of exercise of function of parliamentarians uh, wherever they find themselves. Uh, let me point out that we are very proud of the Macedonian Canadian community uh, and the leadership that in so many fields, science, academia, uh, and construction, just so many different fields, that the sons and daughters of your great land uh, have been the builders of our country. And so I wanted to say to you and through you to the peoples of Macedonia, thank you for helping build Canada. Well, Minister Popovsky, uh, uh, I know it's your first visit here to Canada and we are very, very happy that uh, you found time uh, to come here and meet with us and uh, I would like to welcome you on behalf of Canada, Mas uh, the Republic of Macedonia Parliamentary Friendship Group and all parliamentarians and uh, 
I hope your visit here will strengthen the relations between our two countries and we, on our behalf, we are working hard with the Macedonian diaspora here in Canada and the speaker already mentioned how great contributions they've made to our great country and we are open and ready to work with parliamentarians in Macedonia to strengthen Honourable Speaker, Honourable Members of the Senate, Members of the Parliament, Ambassadors, dear friends, it is a great pleasure for the first time to be in Canada. I could have never believed that it's such a wonderful place to visit. I've been here for a little bit more than 24 hours and I definitely feel like being at home for many reasons. Uh, starting from uh, visiting Toronto and uh, seeing some of the members of the Macedonian Canadian community that both the speaker um, uh, have mentioned uh, and the president of our Canadian Macedonian Friendship Group in the Parliament. Um, people that are proud to be contributing in building Canada and that are um, hard working people, honest, honest people that um, are very well appreciated in this environment. Um, not only because of the fact that we have this time, but also because of uh, the support that Canada has uh, provided to Macedonia ever since its independence. Uh, back in the 90s through a troubled period in a region that is best known uh, in, a, in the words of a, a British Prime Minister for producing more history that they can consume. <laughs> and uh, I think that all over these years we have seen that uh, we had very stable support uh, in this country. It is something that we appreciate but it is not something with which we're going to say we're satisfied and this is what we can achieve and then we move on. Uh, I think that Quite the opposite is true. We are going to invest our energy in strengthening Macedonian and Canadian ties. We have some projects that we want to uh, make sure that they come through. Uh, this is part of the topics that we are going to discuss with my colleague, Minister Ford Affairs, tomorrow. And uh, I strongly believe that uh, the uh, parliamentary cooperation, uh, the cooperation between uh, uh, parliaments and, and uh, uh, MPs, can contribute in this uh, sense. I'm very honoured, even though a little bit disappointed that I wasn't in Macedonia at the moment that you have uh, visited uh, Macedonia, but I'm pretty sure from what I've heard here that it was a successful visit. The feeling uh, back in Skopje was uh, that this was really a very important visit from a very respected country and uh, that we should build on this momentum. So I'm strongly going to encourage all of our colleagues in uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, not only here in the Embassy, but back in Skopje, to try to make sure that all the projects that we have started come through. And uh, I think that we have excellent basis for this uh, to happen. So, merci beaucoup à tous les collègues, à tous les amis qui sont ici. Je suis vraiment honoré uh, d'avoir l'occasion aussi de visiter votre Sénat uh, dans un magnifique, splendide environnement, uh, d'apprendre aussi que le Canada est fier de son histoire. And I think that uh, we should build on this momentum and should make, make sure that all of these projects come through sooner rather than later. Thank you very much for being here. Ambassador, it's a nice great to meet pleasure. You. Thank you Thank for having you. us. Thank you for bringing us such a great guest. Well, <laughs> you two judges, nice how are you? Nice to see you. Thank you so much. Please have a seat. Minister, you. you're here. Thank you. How are you? I'm well. Ça va? Merci. Part of, in terms of our modern <coughs> European inspired institutions, part of the French Empire. Not any other empire. <laughs> and so that is reflected here. Louis XIV is yeah, what I mean. I just noticed that there was Louis XIII, Louis XV. Yeah. François Ier, when Samuel de Champlain founded Quebec, 